All right. Let's look at this maths. We are asked to find n in this question. How do you find n? Very simple. Don't look at this. Square root. Don't allow them to confuse you. First, you square both sides. What is the meaning of this now? It means that this guy will strike this out. Now remains n, this, this equals to 9. Okay? So what we're going to do again, we square both sides again. Okay? If you square here now, it means n raised to the power 2, that this will strike out this. Okay? It means multiply by n, multiply by the square root of n, equal to 81. Because of this one I see here, we see square both sides so that this guy can disappear. So this and this will come together to form 4. That's 2 multiplied by 2. Multiply by n raised to the power 2. Multiply by n which equals to 81 raised to the power 2. 81 raised to the power 2 is equal to what? This will give us 6, 5. 6, 1. So with this now, we use one of the law of indices. Okay? Which says that what? If you have something like this, this is raised to power 1. When the base are the same, you can add the power. That is 4 plus 2 plus 1 will give us 7. That is n raised to power 7 is equal to 6, 5, 6, 1. So what is the meaning of this? It simply means what? 3 raised to power 8. Now we are looking for n. For n to be alone, we remove this by dividing by 7. Because we did this to this side, we must also do it to the other side. So this and this will go n becomes equal to 3 raised to power 8 over 7. Look at it. What is the meaning of 8 over 7? We can also express this as 3 raised to the power 1 plus 1 over 7. You also agree with me. I can rearrange this by saying this is multiplied by 3 raised to the power 1 over 7. What is the meaning of this? It means 3. This means what? The several truth of 3. It means, therefore, I can write this as 3, several root of 3. That is 3 multiplied by the several truth of 3. I believe you understand this. Okay. 